Welcome back, Better Than Wolves Gamers. I'm not even exaggerating, this is the most insane speedrun I've ever played. And I won't spoil anything at this moment, except you guys already know from the title and thumbnail that I beat the previous world record by 30 minutes. And that's absolutely insane when the new run is only about 12 minutes. And only 8 minutes for a crafting table too, that's just crazy to me. As I'm digging in here, I'll tell you about my new strategy for resetting. Basically, you dig yourself in a hole, you cover yourself up, you gloom yourself, that allows your FOV to start going crazy, you start clipping through blocks, and basically x-raying through the entire <laughs> through the entire terrain generation. Alright, so basically what I'm doing here is I'm I'm resetting for like a dungeon thing. I find some diamonds in the bottom left there. That's pretty funny. I think I took a screenshot here to like post how crazy this strategy is. It's not counted as a glitch, uh, but it could count as a glitch in the future. We're still talking about this. It doesn't seem very fair. So like I said, I'm looking for a dungeon. I don't see any. They're usually these black boxes that you just find around the surface. That's what I'm looking for. But right now I'm not finding any. The only thing I found is this mine shaft right here on the left side, next to that gold. And I'm like, okay, that mine shaft seems like it's connected somewhere. So I'm just gonna break this and I'm gonna go over there and see what I can find. Another thing is I'm gonna be changing my channel name to CAD soon. Uh, just because that my username in Minecraft is CAD and on Discord, so I thought it would bring some parody. Just wanted to let you guys know so you weren't confused. So I see the mine shaft down there. I'm like, okay, how am I gonna get down there and get back up? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break some blocks and allow this water down. So I'm building myself a staircase here. It also helps me get some blocks that I might need later when getting out of this. And basically, the reason why mine shafts are so good in Better Than Wolves is because there's a small chance that you can get a minecart, and spoiler alert, they can have a very small chance of getting iron. Well, not very small, but at least for me, it seems like it. I've gotten a few. None of them have had, have had any iron. But in this next one, you guys will see I get pretty lucky. So, finally, we've got the water flowing down. I can't see anything, which is kind of scary. I felt really scared. I hear a skeleton shooting at me, like, what? what's going on? I can't see anything. I just need to get down there. And then I just get hit off. Luckily, I land in water. Not gonna lie, I didn't plan for that. Skeletons drop down. I'm like, oh my god, what's going on? I need blocks. One of them just starts burning, and then out of panic, I just leave, and I'm like, okay. And the other guy, I just push in, and like, it's just so crazy. I'm like, what is going on? And then I'm like, okay, I just need to get up to the mine chest, so how am I going to do that? Well, if you've watched my nether percent, you can get a bunch of blocks just by... Breaking four gravel, placing one slab. I just got six slabs for one slab. Crazy profit. I'm like, okay, what's the best way to get up there now? I'm thinking about like building some kind of staircase, maybe just towering up. But I don't want to waste blocks and I'm so concerned with wasting time right now. I'm like, is there another skeleton up there? I don't know. So eventually, I think I decide. Yeah, here we go. I'm gonna go up this way. And then up here, I'm like, okay, anything up there? And then I see the chest. I'm like, oh my god. Finally. I have a chest that's right there. I didn't have to go into the mine shaft. Because I've had some runs end where I go into the mine shaft, can't find a chest, and die to like some spider. So I'm trying to get up here second one doesn't place and I'm like oh my god I and then I just grab everything else because why not I'm like okay I'll break it for some sticks I'm like is there another chest because I could 
possibly get two iron, maybe, from another chest. I do some looking around. This is mainly, like, if there was a chance at getting diamonds, because it's, it would be so insane to get, like, a mine shaft, to get the iron, and then find diamonds right there. Because then you can turn the iron into a chisel and get the diamond. That would be so crazy. But right now, I'm just try trying to get back up to the surface, pretty much. So I just need some blocks to get out of this. And I need to hope that there is no skeleton at the top. So I'm just mining some blocks. I'm like, oh, I can make a torch. And then I make a torch. Insane gameplay. So now I'm just digging a staircase out. Nothing much to say here. I mean, I'm kind of playing slow and safe. This is like one of the few moments in Better Than Wolves speedrunning where I've been really nervous about the run because I've gotten so lucky through this point. Oh, look at that poor zombie. He's just bobbing around, poor guy. I'm trying to figure out if there's like a skeleton up there because a creeper, a skeleton, even a zombie if it like hits me down it will end the run. So annoying. I'm not gonna lie, I did make a lot of mistakes here. I could have like pillowed out maybe. I didn't want to waste blocks though because I didn't know what the terrain was up here. I kind of just went through it in gloom. But then I see, oh that's the water that I used to get up, so I'm like, okay. If I can just place the torch up there so I can see further. So I light another one and like try to try to get a bit higher. It's so hard to place it up there. I don't even think I can reach up there. Not fully. And then a skeleton just jumps down for some reason. Good thing that guy's gone. And I just wait a little bit for him to leave in the mine shaft. And then I start going. And here, I think because I'm right next to the block, I'm going slower, so I should have not been right next to the block. Because now I'm going much faster here. And I'm just going up. And I don't know if you guys saw this earlier, but there was a creeper up here. So I'm like, okay, how do I deal with this guy? I'm thinking about like hitting him away, but he kind of just looks like he's minding his own business. He kind of looked like he was going to try to climb the water there, but then he doesn't. So that's good. And now I'm like, okay. So I have a crafting table, basically. <laughs> There's like a whole bunch of stuff going through my brain. Like, okay. Crafting table record. I gotta set that. But then I also want to get pants. Because that's another category. Crafting table is an unofficial category. But why not get that one too? Alright, so now I'm done with the crafting table, I'm like, okay, I gotta find cows as fast as possible, and get them into a hole. And you guys will see, this is much more of a challenge than I thought. Because as you can see, there are absolutely no cows nearby. It hasn't even turned night yet, and I see one near the desert. Or I guess that's a beach, but... They're so far away. It was, this was day one, and I can't believe it, they were that far away. But eventually, here, I'm like, okay, if I can push this guy away from the center, then I can dig a hole right in the middle of all of them. But this guy does not want to cooperate with me. I try to push him one way, and then he wants to go back. Like, what is this guy doing? He's, he really likes that block, so then I decide to break this one. I'm like, oh, he's walking away. He's not going to get mad. And then he turns back. He moves a block closer, and I swear to God, I, if that was the block, that made him run away. That wasted so much time. Because look, he's, he's all the way in the back now. 
All right, so I'm getting this guy. I thought I saw one up here, so I go up there. There he is. This guy's kind of annoying. Gets stuck behind the tree for a little bit. Overall, though, the cows were mostly okay. Except for the the last two. Those guys, all the way over there. They're like behind this ridge, so I can't get them over. But then I have the big brain idea that I always have. Alright, I'm going to push them both this way. And then I'm going to anger them by placing a slab. And then I'll force them to run in the direction of the hole. And this was one of my best plays to save the run. This guy's being really annoying, trying to go back. Eventually, even though he's trying to push me back, I get him in the hole. I try to find the last guy as nighttime approaches. There he is, and I start pushing him towards the hole. And this guy was the best out of all of them. He didn't really do anything. And then after that, I can finally cover up the hole and make a crafting table here. And for those of you that are wondering, you have to break the block above because the crafting table won't work if it's a full solid block. So you just have to like trim the tree above it. And then I accidentally place a gravel there. <laughs> Screen shake a little bit. Does that cost me around 10 seconds probably? Could have been even faster. So then I get it here, let's get back up, and grab the wrong thing, pants. Bam, 14,000 ticks. Crazy run. This, this run was actually insane, I, I don't even know man, 